Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another video. We are making Harry Potter pumpkin pasties. Before I start on the video, I want to tell y'all I want to tell y'all a little story. So I went to Barnes and Nobles a couple weeks ago and I found this, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. But yeah, and I am so excited about this. It, there is so many different options of food and what's really cool about it is that it's food from every single book and every single movie of Harry Potter that they mention or most of them at least nine recipes from Goblet of Fire uh, sweet orange marmalade um, mince pies Irish soda bread roast pheasant like there is so many different things in here so as you know we are making pumpkin pasties and here is what it looks like in the book what's really cool about these they have like a little quote from in the book where they were first introduced like i'm gonna read this to you pumpkin pasties to harry's surprise the snacks which the, the, i can't even say that the snacks which on the hogwarts express isn't selling heath pars or doritos for the first time in his life Harry pulls out some money and buys as many treats as he wants, which includes pumpkin pasties. And it says, see Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone chapter six. Like it has in every single one where the where it is like at in the books and everything. And I think that is the coolest thing ever. This is something that y'all need if you're a big Harry Potter fan. So with that aside, let's get into these little cute pumpkin pasties. They are absolutely adorable. Here is one. This is the best one, guys, so I'm showing y'all this one. But it is this. It is so cute, and they are absolutely delicious. I just almost knocked all of them over. I would have cried. I would have literally cried on camera. But yeah, no, these taste exactly like a pumpkin pie, and they're just like in a little, you know, a pasty. And they are absolutely delicious. I will be making more in the future, but yeah. To start off with our pumpkin pasties, where we're starting on our pastry crust. On here it says, place flour, sugar, and salt in the bowl of a food processor, which I'm using a bowl because my food processor is tiny and I'm just gonna, gonna mix it with my hands like my pie dough recipe. And then it says, pulse a few times to combine, scatter the butter and shortening over the flour mixture and pulse about 15 times until the mixture resembles a coarse yellow meal. Our flour is in the bowl. Sugar and salt. Sugar. Fourth of a teaspoon. Give that a mix and then butter and shortening and mix it up. So I've already cubed up everything so it'd be a lot easier to mix. If you have a pastry cutter, or a bigger food processor, I'd recommend doing that. It looks like, what does it look like? It looks like crumbled up cornbread. Sprinkle four tablespoons of cold water over the mixture and then toss it together with a spatula until it starts clumping together. If it's too dry, add more water one tablespoon at a time. Better wet than too dry. Um, gather dough into a ball and pat it into a disc. Wrap it in plastic wrap and refrigerate for one hour. Okay, four tablespoons of cold water. I'm gonna give it a good mix. It's coming together quite nicely. Did say better too wet than dry, and this is like super sticky and wet, so let's hope I'm doing it right. Okay, got my sheet of plastic wrap. Don't do what I just did because that did not work out very well. Dough goes on. There we go, disc, and then refrigerate for one hour. So I am about 10 minutes shy of an hour for the pastry dough. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the filling and then by that time, I'm just gonna take it out. I'll be like five minutes short, but it's okay, don't worry. All right, so for the filling, you need one cup of canned pumpkin and it says do not do pumpkin pie filling. So I have 100% all natural pumpkin right here. There we go. Cup of pumpkin into a bowl. I think. Hold on. Yeah, combine pumpkin, sugar, nutmeg, and cinnamon in a mixing bowl and mix well. All right, pumpkin's going in. Got my sugar, my cinnamon, and nutmeg. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so give this a good mix, Rooney. That is mixed up and good. Combine the pumpkin, sugar, nutmeg, mix well. 
Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then roll out the dough to an eighth of an inch thick and use a saucer to cut out six inch circles. And it says it makes six pasties, so let's hope I make six. I'm going to roll out my dough. I have my sill pad. I like to roll it on there because it sticks and it doesn't stick to the silk pad, so it all works out. And I'm going to roll out my dough to an eighth of an inch thick. Oh, that's so sticky. What? It doesn't say it in the directions, but I know how to roll out dough, and if it's too wet, it's going to stick to the rolling pin, and then it's not going to work out. So I'm just going to sprinkle it with flour and dust my rolling pin with flour as well because I don't want it to stick. I'm going to say whenever you are adding the water to the dough, add three tablespoons instead of four because I think it's going to help a lot more than it just being stuck to everything. All right, so I don't have anything that's six inches, like a circle cutter, and I've measured like everything I have. So this is a moose much like popcorn lid, and I'm just going to cut out. It's four and a half inches across. I don't know if that means six inches or I don't know, but I'm just gonna do it this way. Close to the edge as possible so you don't have to re-roll dough so many times. I might actually be making more than six, so that's kind of cool. Use a saucer to cut out six inch circles. Got it, eighth of an inch thick. I hope that's an eighth of an inch. Oh well. Put two to three tablespoons of filling in the center of each circle of the dough. Moisten the edges with water. Fold the dough over the filling and crimp with a fork to seal the edges. And then it says cut slits to make vents and bake on an ungreased cookie sheet for 30 minutes or until brown. Okay, so. That wasn't even a tablespoon, but okay. Tablespoon, got it, right in the center. I'm gonna stick with two since we didn't have, oh, I'm gonna do one and a half since these aren't six inch circles. Oops, I forgot to water it. I got a water right here, and then I am going to just dab water around the outside edges, and then carefully fold it over. Fork, dip this in flour because if you don't, it'll just start sticking and the dough will like pull up with the fork. Crimp, crimp. Also, tell me how you like the new way of how I'm videoing things. I was tired of being like stuck in my kitchen because you know, in apartment kitchens are like that big. So I wanted to have more open space and a lot more like lighting and natural lighting coming in. And so I decided to do it this way. Tell me if you like it because I really like this a lot. And I think I'm gonna start doing it this way because I miss baking on my island. Okay, so I have no more dough. I got three more pieces out. And so I'm gonna make this next three and then we're gonna put these in the oven. to bake them for 30 minutes until they are browned. As you can see, they have come out of the oven. They are absolutely adorable. They turned out so much better than I thought they'd be. This one is my favorite because it's like the perfect little pasty. I'm gonna try it and see. This one, it leaked, so I'm just gonna eat it. I feel like these are gonna be really hot, but I really wanna try it, so here goes nothing. Oh. Yeah, they're hot. Oh my gosh, they're so good though. Two thumbs up. 